everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my fire signs. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your X's and O's spread for mid-month June 2020. So it's from June 15th, 2020 to July 1st, 2020. Um, you're more than welcome to timestamp. I'm going to do each sign individually. Um, if you've ordered a $10 one question, one answer via email only and you've not heard from me, feel free to email me to let me know so that I can hurry up and email you back and answer your question. Also, if you've ordered a same-day reading and you've not heard from me within about 45 minutes, feel free to email me to let me know so that I can hurry up and do your reading. Um, what else? Um, the reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com and... My second tarot card channel is where the um, the tarot cards of the day are going to be for the 15th, 16th, and 17th of June. So you may want to go check it out. Let's start with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. X's and O's for mid-month June 2020. So June 15th, 2020 to July 1st, 2020. Wow. High Priestess, Three of Swords. Secretly, you don't know that your ex is brokenhearted. You don't, some of you, it's a Pisces. For some of you, it's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, it's a Cancer. They are hurt. They love you, the lovers. The hanged man. They move too slow. This retrograde, Leo, you're going to want nothing to do with your exes. But as soon as retrograde is over, you're going to be begging for your exes back. That's what I just got right now. Be careful, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Don't burn the bridge because you're going to want to get back. The judgment and the wheel of fortune. This retrograde is going to really play with your head. Also, for those of you that are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, um, this person's going to ghost you, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers after retrograde is over. That's why you're going to be wanting to go back with it, with it looks to be an air sign or a Pisces. Could be a Gemini. They have a sis on Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah, you're going to want to get back together with somebody that, that you maybe broke their heart, your ex. Maybe you guys broke each other's hearts, yeah. Maybe this person was playing with your emotion, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. We've got the Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, yep. Big emphasis on air signs. Air and water, because what's going to happen here is... Leo, be careful. I feel like you guys have two people. Well, there's several people here, but I feel like the ones that you're going to be, you're going to be wanting to get back together with an air sign. Right now, they want you, but you don't want them. But as soon as retrograde's over, you're going to want them. And then uh, if you're dealing with a water sign now, Leo, I feel like, um, like you're kind of happy, contented with it. But then as soon as retrograde is over, they're going to get back together with their ex and they're going to change their phone number and you're never going to talk to them again. Don't move in with any water signs during this retrograde, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, because they're going to kick you out. You're literally going to be out on your ear and their ex is going to be moved back in. Be careful. Leo, you guys are usually not that impulsive. 
three of cups. Yeah, they're going to get back together with an X. A water sign is going to get back together with an X. Queen of Swords, which could be the King of Swords, the Magician. I feel like for those of you that are connected to a water sign currently, like right now, like not an X, but like that you're with, they could be doing spiritual work to try to get you... Wait, no, not them. Their ex is doing spiritual work to get them away from you or to get them to come back to them, and it's going to work. It's going to work, it says. Yep. All of a sudden, whoever this water sign is, it's going to be like, they were like, oh, I love you. I want to be with you forever. Let's get married and have like a million and fifty babies. And um, yeah, and then as soon as this work is going on, as soon as retrograde ends... They'd be like, can you please leave my home? Um, I can, you know, call you a taxi. I can, you know, pack up all your stuff in a nice black garbage bag and I can put it down the stairs and um, let's pray nobody steals it by the time you can get it home. Yeah. It's going to be like, boom, they're just gone. Now let's do Sagittarius. Okay, X's and O's for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for mid-month June 2020. X's and O's, mid-month June 2020 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. X's and O's, X's and O's. What can they expect? My Saggies, what can they expect? What is going on? What can they expect for mid-month June 2020? A new beginning, Sagittarius. Somebody's going to be honestly coming in and asking for another chance with you. They are open, honest, and it's heartfelt, it looks like. I feel like it's heartfelt. They've thought about this for a while. This isn't something, this isn't a retrograde thing. This is something that they thought about from the heart. This could even be you, Sagittarius, that wants somebody back from the past. The Hierophant in the Tower, maybe somebody's marriage didn't work. Maybe a marriage broke up. Maybe some of you were dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. Four of Swords. Maybe for some of you, you were grieving the loss of someone when you got with someone and then you weren't putting your best foot forward or this was their them towards you. Maybe they just got a divorce and they were cynical about love and romance or starting something new again. They've learned. They, they've changed. Either you've changed or they've changed. Somebody's ready now. For some of you, if a Taurus was messing with you, trying to cause trouble for you, they could be either going to jail or passing away. There's a Taurus that's very sick right now, just so you know. Yeah, I'm not judging you, but for some reason it shows you guys would be happy about that. Maybe you're per the person you love. Maybe their husband or wife is standing in the way of you two being together. Because it's showing somebody's literally dancing on someone's grave. It looks like a Taurus is going to be going off the window. Maybe out the window, literally. I, I hope not. I hope not. Okay, so back to X's and O's. Sorry, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see. Two of Swords. The decision will be made. Sagittarius, maybe some of you are doing spiritual work on someone so that their ex will go away permanently. And it's working a little bit too good. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, it looks like you won. This is taking a dark turn, but um, so if you guys don't want to hear what I have to say next, plug your ears because it might be a little sinister and it might be a little bit dark. Um, so plug your ears if you don't want to hear it. Okay, caution, caution. I feel like somebody, maybe somebody passed away, a, a romantic partner and somebody can't handle it. And um I feel like they want to go be with them. So. 
that's what that looks like but let's move on to something else but usually if there's messages I have to deliver them because it's for someone so maybe somebody has dealt with this in the recent past and they're wondering why this person did this it's because they couldn't stand to be away from the person they couldn't live a life without them that's why they did this that's a very bad thing to do I don't suggest anybody do something like that just don't do that. It's not nice. It's not good. Don't hurt the loved ones that are still here. Just don't do it. But anyway, so back to this. I do feel like for some of you, there could be your spouse. Maybe you guys are married to somebody in jail or you, you're writing to someone in jail and you're going to marry them while they're in jail. So I don't know if that's possible, but that's what it's showing me. It's showing their celebration here, but it's saying here that like some of you will have mixed feelings about this. Maybe there's makeup and breakups a lot. Maybe some of you just don't talk to this person. Maybe they're they're locked up, literally. They're in jail, and um, they can't get a hold of you when you don't feel like it. Like, you you run the show. The ball's in your court. I feel like when this person does get out, though, they might retaliate against you. They might be like, okay, since you played me the whole time, or you, you were ignoring me, or you were pulling these disappearing acts, now that I'm out, I'm going to do this to you. So, guys, just be careful about playing too many playing too many situations, playing too many people because it might not pan out. I do see true love coming in for you guys, but somebody from the past. But I also see that some of you are juggling several people in de several different situations or you're, you're not taking certain situations seriously. It shows that juggling could bite you in the ass in mid-month, uh, June 2020. So be careful, Sagittarius. So let's move on to Aries. Last but not least, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What is up with them? X's and O's spread for mid-month, June 2020. Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Mid-month, June 2020. What is up? Okay. Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Let's see what else. Aries, um, a few of your exes are admitting defeat. They're defeated. Your exes are literally off somewhere crying, freaking out because they know that they're never going to get another chance with you again. They know your life is good. They know you're living well. For some of you, it's a water sign. For some of you, it's a Sagittarius. For some of you, it's a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. For others of you, it's a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, maybe that you were once married to. This person knows it's over. The Fool card and the Ten of Cups. You got a new, they feel like you got a new family, a new life. So if if you guys were ever like, are my exes going to get their karma? Like, do they know what they lost? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, they know. Now, even though this is X's and O's, <clears throat> I feel like for some Aries, you have to hurry up and, and find someone. Some of you are just not interested. You're just too picky. Some of you need to maybe stop being so picky and just let go and just allow yourself to be happy in a relationship. Nobody's perfect. There's no such thing, Aries. Some of you are going to, this this next two weeks, mid-month, June 2020, many of you have an opportunity to like find the one that you're going to marry, find the one that you're going to make a life with. Oh, no. You guys just have to be open to it because it's like... Um, All right, so some of you, you have to um, allow allow something to unfold. Hi, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video, and it tells you um, where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same-day reading, so you don't have to wait. Same-day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus, I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video, and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds, and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23 so I have a fans-only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys. Um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23 ta-ta for now.